Hey everyone, uh, yeah, it's 1.15 in the morning, but I wanted to get this video out. So, um, here's a quick tutorial on how to use this screen flash disabler. Um, let's go ahead and start with the fresh copy of M2, extract, and we're going to set this up a bit. Um, always a good thing to do first before you start the emulator. Um, I always remove the crosshairs and make a ROM folder, ROMs, and let's go ahead and drag our house of the dead. And then scripts, um, if you start off with a fresh copy, you don't need to worry about this, but if you have your own copy that you've been running, um, you'll need to back up, and you're using an HOTD.Lua script already, um, you'll need to back that up before using this. There can only be one HOTD.Lua um, file that'll run with house of the dead, so um, if you're using another uh, little code, you might either want to not use that code for now or to test this out, or you can actually replace, uh, actually copy over the script into your own uh, little file. If you're not sure how to do that, um, really quick, you can just go in and right here, everything inside this function frame, uh, well, frame function, uh, just copy that and paste it into your own HOTD Lua script inside that exact same uh, frame function and that should be it. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl see what happens. Emulator CPU, emulator load ROM, uh, house of the dead. So right now I don't have audio on the game. I, I don't like to record the audio. It's going to just overpower my voice. So the first thing we actually do is, you know, F2, go into here, let's do game assignments. Blood color blue, I all my videos will be in blue, um, only because, you know, the machine that I used to play on had blue, so I just grew accustomed to that, and it's, you know, uh, kid-friendly, you don't see blood and everything, so blue, blue it is, country, USA, exit, and then next, gun setting. Always do this, especially for House of the Dead. First time playing, player one, go ahead and click here and then click there. Should be pretty close. And yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, uh, you hit press F1 to go down, or you can do uh, one or two that go up and right, up and down, and exit, and exit. So, insert coin, insert coin, and that should be it. Test it out. Boom. No flash. Sorry, there's no sound, but, um, yeah, it just wouldn't work with me with OBS for some reason. Um, so, how did I do this? How did I get that to work? Um, let's open up. This is the version that I always use. So, if you're familiar with the game and you know, all these functions, you know, LSEMI left uh, all these F functions that show stats and stuff. Like F8 shows rendering stats, F9 shows your frames per second, and F7, what F7 does is turns all the tile maps off. Now, tile maps are like overlays onto the screen that um, have their own small 8x8. Um, image that just, you know, that's just drawn on the screen, like all these are small, all these, all these little things are, or these words are 8 by 8 um, tiles that get mapped together to make uh, pictures and drawings and text and whatnot. So knowing that the screen gets disabled when you press F7, I'll show you right now, so here's it with the F off. You'll notice no screen flash, but if I press F7, there's a screen flash right there. So press F7 again, and there's nothing. And there's no Lua code that will tell you that will uh, do a key press read. So you can't have it you know, on click, mouse click, F7. You could probably make another script that will do that, but Lua doesn't do that. So I had to find out another way, and the way I did that was... Um, if you go into the folder under scripts, 
in the model2.lua file that l Simon left behind, he created variables that um, that led to RAM locations that M M2 uses. So one of the big ones is, is going to be this one, RAM base. This is going to be one of the ones that most of the game uses to uh, do all the dynamic stuff. Um, this also this uh, tile map graphic space that gets updated. Uh, textures, I think that also does, and frame buffer base. This is also one that gets updated as um, new frames are as you progress, and then frames need to be buffered in. So um, a lot of textures get stored into this uh, this address as well. So if you open up the model to that Lua text, um, it's a whole thing about scripts uh, using Lua scripts. Um, there's one in particular that uh, we would need, and it's this one right here, this i960 get RAM pointer. What it does is, this is the, right here is the addresses that M2 uses, but it sets it into a different physical memory address on your computer, and this is what this does. So in here, the address would be this variable, and then it's going to return um, the address in your uh, local memory of where that's getting stored. So with that in mind, um, I created the script to show to do basically show all this and that um, that function earlier. I hotkeyed it to my letter C, and you'll see it right here. The one we're looking at in particular is this one right here, TMAP graphic space. So it's going to be uh, 110F4020. So one way we, that I found the easiest was using HXD, which is just the hex editor that I use all the time. And in extras, there's an open uh, the main memory RAM, and we're going to open up the emulator multi CPU. Now, this is all the memory that uh, Model 2 is using, and let's see, we're going to go to 11 OF 4020. So, let's go to that address right now, Control G 11. I just forgot already. What is it? OF uh, 4020. Okay, so right here in 32 bytes, this is one tile, and the next tile is the next 32. Well, it says 20 because they're in hex, decimal 32. So 32 bytes, another 32 bytes, and these are all tiles. These are what make up all the uh, the the on-screen. These tiles they they make up the insert coins, the credits, the bullets, the 1P, this thing. This reload, all this, all these, those are all tile maps. Um, so you have one 8x8 tile that just gets mapped and you create these things. And you're using palettes to change colors and whatnot. And yeah, it's a whole other deal. So I know that within this range, um, let's go back to hex, that's confusing me. Um, uh, the screen flash uh, tile is in here somewhere. So what I did was, um, just to make sure, I highlighted this whole section, 80,000, and then just filled it with zeros. Save, save, yes. So you already noticed that some of these went missing, and let's go ahead and insert a coin right here. No more, no one credit, no press start. Um, right here, this is also missing. This black bar is missing, and no, all the, the yeah, no screen flash. So if we reset the game, um, everything comes back in here. So if we go back to this, yeah, everything comes back. So what I had to do is just I just you know trial and error. I try to go through. Uh, ranges manually. So I started off with like 5,000. Set all those t to zero. Save. Yes. Now let's see anything change. Uh, see, you see some of this tiles, they got wiped out. Um, it starts this right here, got wiped out. Oh, the black bars are still here. Um, that's probably going to mean, yeah. Screen flash is still there. 
so next, yeah, every time you reset, um, all these come back. So if I, let's say I went down all those zeros and then I just went back up. That's a one-way, yeah, it doesn't refresh on the fly. So let's go back here to our beginning of the uh, TMAP graphics space. And we're just going to select a higher um, offset. And let's go to, let's say, 9,000. Edit fill selection with zeros. Let's see. So that went away again, and let's see, all this text went away. This text right here went away, but the black bars are still here. That's probably going to mean that, yeah, the screen flash is still there. Okay, so um, I think it's just a few more addresses. So I think it's this one right here. If you, I just because I did it already. Um, it's these threes. This 32 bytes of just 33, 33, 33. Once I set, I mean, once I got here, I s filled it with zeros, saved it, yes, went back in here, see all this stuff is still here, let's read the coin, start, black bars are still here, insert coins are still here, but no screen flash. So we just wiped out that screen, that, that white screen flash for, uh, for all the trigger, and yeah, it's it, it it's good for all your uh, all those people using aim track where they don't need the flash, um, or even for the Aclabs gun, if you know it has it creates its own flash, so you wouldn't want uh, two flashes going off at the same time, and um, if you're using the D mole shooter or D emule shooter. Um, you know, this is already set up to where you just have to start playing, you can have two guns going off at the same time, and you don't have to get caught with seizures throughout the screen flashing so many times. And, um, yeah, it's, it's easy on the eyes, and you can just easily play through without any problem. So, again, so what I did in the Lua script is right here, I just basically, oh, yeah, because I closed the emulator. So that, right right there, those those threes, um, I just set those to zero, and that's what my Lewis script does, basically. It just, it goes to that address, and then just fills those 32 bytes with zeros, and that's it. Um, I think, I don't know if this works for Virtual Cop. Uh, I, I doubt the, the tiles are in the same place, but um, if I get the chance, I'll probably make one for Virtual Cop. It might be the same way. They might use a tile map for the screen flash. And if so, that's just going to be really easy to do. But I'm not sure if any other games use the same method to do their wide screen flash. But fortunately, this is the way House of the Dead is it, and this is a quick fix. And I hope you enjoy it. The download link should be in the description. I'm actually releasing this at the time of this video. So please do uh, let me know if it works for you. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you need help or anything, um, you can reach out to me on YouTube, uh, Twitter. Twitter is a good place. I, re I release stuff on there. Um, Discord is always a good place. The House of Dead Discord is, uh, is starting to get popular again. Well, a lot of people are joining in chatting about stuff and um, you know I still post a lot of my things in there so if you need help you can find me there and have fun enjoy <laughs>